Hi everyone, welcome to SPACI 3 master class tutorial. In a previous tutorial, we took the introduction of SPACI. Uh, we also studied what are the features of the SPACI. And uh, we also learned how we can install the SPACI. We also discussed these are the language models, English language models for SPACI. And then finally, we took an example of linguistic annotation there. And this was a very simple annotation, uh, although you were not aware how all these annotations were done at that time. Uh, but as I promised you in coming lectures, I'll be telling you uh, how these linguistic annotations are done. So in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about the tokenization. So doing this linguistic annotation, the first step is tokenization. A first tokenization happens. Thereafter, a tagging happens. That's uh, you see here the parts of speech tagging, which I told you that we will uh, study in coming lectures. But uh, this lecture is uh, only uh, for tokenization. In coming lectures, we will be also doing tagging and the parsing. And now you see there, this one says that the dependency parsing. And then thereafter, NER and so many other pipelines are there. So this one is SPACI pipeline here. When you pass a text data, this text data are processed inside a SPACI language model in general, which is called as NLP. Inside this NLP, these are the SPACI pipeline. This tokenizer SPACI pipeline is default pipelining. This cannot be disabled. Rest of these pipelining tokens are components, you can say. These are pipeline components. So these pipeline components are optional. If you don't want tagging, parsing and NER, these can be disabled. But by default, SPACI takes these components as enabled components like tokenization, tagging, parsing and NER. After doing these language model tokenization and tagging all these things, a doc object is made. So this returns a doc object. And then rest of other uh, tagging, we can actually rest of other components value, we can, uh, you know, retrieve from the doc object. So this was about the previous tutorial, which we did. Uh, you can find out the link of previous tutorial in uh, video description. Since this doc object is now produced, now in this doc object, all the informations are available there. Now, just for the example, let's take here uh, this sentence for the tagging or for tokenization, actually, since uh, this is uh, for tokenization, we will be focusing on tokenization. So this sentence, let's go to NY. All right. Let's go to NY. This one is one sentence here. It says something like uh, text is equal to. Okay, it says like this. Okay, so their uh, double quote is also included in the text. You remember that if we don't put here a single quote, then this will not uh, double quote will not be treated as a character of the string. So here it says that double quote. All right, then again here a single character comes. So for that, what we can do here, we can keep here maybe, uh, you know, three character perhaps. That would be better to do here. Okay, so it says that here, let's go to NY. This one is your text data. All right, so in this text data, now we want to do a tokenization here. All right, although we want we don't want that new line as well. So we can simply uh, do something like this. All right, so let's go to NY. All right, so for this, we need to do the tokenization. Uh, the problem is here, you need to understand how this tokenization happens. Uh, by default, uh, by default tokenization happens with a space. But SPACI have a special features where uh, it can actually break the sentences based on the prefix, suffix and uh, some infix and uh, some exceptions. 
so these exceptions are language dependent in english we have some exceptions in arabic and other languages there is exception model for this passive so this exception is a special case in english language there so first it takes the let's say this the lets so in lets it find out that there is double quote which is a prefix of the lets so it break down that here in a new token here thereafter it uh, break down this lets here and it find out that this one is the exception here all right so this one is exception and here this one is exception these two are exception now you will find here there and there these are exception here so this lets are broken into a two word here let and apostrophe s here then go is pretty much simple two is also simple all right and then this one is copied as it is now it it, it is going to break this one now you see here double quote is there so this double quote as a suffix first this was broken here thereafter you have n dot y dot and then this exclamation mark here all right so there this uh, suffix is again broken out now you have ny here and then this one exception happens here and then this exception happens which says that okay now this ny will be as it is the reason of keeping this is like how this spacy is trained so we know that uk if uk is written there u dot k dot that's the uk similarly usa can be written that there or uae can be written there and ny also can be written like this here so it will take these as one word as it is it will not break these words because spacy knows while training these are city name and these are the special exception where it will not break it but at the same time it will break here this lets here with these infixes here because this one is here infix here all right perfect cool now let's go and uh, create a spacy model and do the tokenization of this text and then see how we are going to get the result so we will be first importing the spacy of course you have to have a spacy so you have to install the spacy here like we explained in a previous tutorial once you have a spacy then you can just simply import a spacy once a spacy is imported now you, we need to make here a language model so the language model is nlp equal to equal to spacy dot load and there we are going to load here english model en core we have wave and sm that's the small model all right a language model is created english language model with a small model it is created here thereafter you have doc is equal to nlp and then we are going to pass this text data here inside this so once we pass this text data because we created this default language model it automatically have all these pipelines inside this so as soon as we passed here doc is equal to the nlp text all these pre processing happened instantly inside this spacy language model once you have this language model now if you print this doc you will get the text data of the doc itself but if you want to get the tokenization for each words for each of these pipelines then you need to do here a for loop so for token in doc this is going to give us a token for each word for each of these words here then you can simply do here a print token dot here a text here right so like you see here this is how it was broken here and the same thing we saw here first this double quote comes then let comes and then finally apostrophe and s comes here and then similarly go to ny and then here uh, exclamation mark and then double quote all these are broken in a single and in a single character not not a single character but in a single token so that's how this tokenization happens in spacy in meantime you can also try some you know some other text as well let me just show you i just copy this text from there 
and uh, then this language model is already created you don't need to recreate that model again but this doc is equal to the NLP text and then let's do this one thereafter I'm gonna just uh, put here some other uh, you know text here okay let's uh, put it since now we don't have any special character so I'm gonna just use here a single quote here I'm gonna say here Apple is looking to buying UK startup for one billion dollar all right that's how let's uh, do the tokenization and then see how this happened here this apple is looking to buying all these are pretty much simple and that's what we were talking about their exception happens while the tokenization now as the language model was a train it knows that this uk is a geographic location that's when this is a country name so it kept here uk as it is thereafter you have a startup for one billion dollar now you see this dollar was broken that's mean because this one is a currency here and this one is a number again here this one is like a currency measurement or you can say the measurement unit this one billion is there now again if you put here a dot now you will see this dot will be separated there right but this dot was not separated because like how this spacy model was trained there while uh, creating this spacy all right cool so in the next lecture i'll show you how you can do the parts of his speech tagging so do not worry about uh, the first lecture where we studied linguistic annotations because in the in, in the coming lectures we will be covering all these one by one all right thanks for watching this stay tuned for more videos